Fish King on the spear, Chris. <laughs> it's a nice one too. It's fair to ass. Yeah! How to go with that reel? Hmm? How to go with that reel? How much line did he pull before you got him? Before the well, shark got him?
It's a big score of trips. No kid, oh, a couple of little kids in it. That... Carry. Get the boat. Still got kegs everywhere! Carrie, <laughs> hurry! I'm, I need a second shot!
Are you getting again, Chris? You better hurry up. Well, fuck, he's up at the surface of me. So, do you catch that one or did you lose it? The shark might have got it. Because the shark, the shark came from this way. Yeah, the shark might have hit him. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow, look at this guy. It's kind of a layout. Okay. Yeah, it's not a Keep him moving forward and keep him out of that line. Keep him moving forward and keep him out of that line. Keep him moving forward though. Keep out of the line, Chris. You've got to get out of your line. Ah, he got to see a bronze Z too. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good sized bronze. Yeah, he's fat, he's pretty big around the head. Ha <laughs> ha 
day, so good. I have to get Dad some dive gear. <laughs> you just, I'll just order it. You just pay the, huh? Get it sent. It's a piece of this. First king on the spear, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he, it's a nice one too. It's fat ass. Yeah, mate. Good fish. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. That's, that's crazy. Try to whip the guts out of it and sort of. Maybe we should just fucking. Well, he's full of fish, eh? It's a, it seems a waste. Yeah, oh, there's a hell of a lot of meat on yeah, that. Yeah. Nice one, fellas. We'll drag the boat up, we'll smack the fucking boat off the trailer, and then just pull the boat up on the bloody hard oh, iron. It's going to have to fucking be lifted. One, two, three, four, five, six trebs in total. Nice. We're just sorting our fish out. They're all health, yeah, yeah. healthy kings. Pretty, pretty damn good haul. Here's the man of the here's the man of the moment, Chris. Cheers, mate. Good to meet you. You too. We'll see you next time, mate. Yep. Well done. Player of the day. <laughs> you get a couple of slices of oranges when you get home or something. Won't be fucking oranges. All good, fellas. See you later, mate. We'll see you later. Mean day. Catch you later. Well. Where the heck do we start with today? It is 4 p.m. and it's a Sunday afternoon. We've been diving. Um, I will tell you we have been out off the west coast. We got my unicorn conditions today. I don't usually go out off the west coast if it's questionable conditions. I like to keep it in my mind that it's always perfect out there and sort of today continued on with that, that uh, tradition. Um, we did actually dive after all that, got some power and things and, and shallow, but there was like half a metre of this and I'm pretty sure my camera was flat, so I don't think I got anything on film, but it doesn't really matter anyway. That was just, that was absolutely superb conditions. From the moment we got in, we had kingfish. Uh, Kerry got taxed basically straight away. I shot one straight away. You could have shot fish all day long, and we actually, you know, we just pulled the pin. We had four, oh, well, we had four and a half kingfish on the boat about six trips or something and uh, we did, you know, snagged a few power each and headed home and it's actually, it took us a little while to get off the beach after the hiccup which you've probably seen in the video but um, yeah, just, just superb conditions all around and a whole, a whole lot of fun, really well needed, been just smashing work so hard lately and just trying to get through, um, you know, all of life's bloody chores at the moment but um, touch base with you when I get home, I'll be home in about an hour, a little over an hour and um, yeah, we'll break it down a bit further. Alrighty, so we're going to fast forward the vlog through to Monday afternoon because someone fell asleep on the couch as soon as he got home from diving yesterday and and uh, pretty much wasted the whole evening. I've been filleting fish and you'd probably remember in a vlog or two vlogs ago we did the seared kingfish. So what I've got here, it's not the most immaculately presented uh, top loin of kingfish. There's just a tiny bit of bloodline left on it but that's fine. Um, it's only a day old. We've got some poppy seeds, we've got some Cajun seasoning, uh, salt, pepper, um, 
some fried veg, some rice, and we're pretty much just, this, this to me, and to Danny, and pretty much everyone who's had it, is probably the best way you can have kingfish, seared kingfish, it is just, well there's no better way to have it, divine. as far as I'm concerned, divine. Ooh. Yeah. That's just perfect. Oh, yes. As good as it gets. <laughs> Your face says it all. <laughs> Real serious look. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's a wrap for the video. Obviously a pretty incredible day out on the water. Um, it's not very often... In fact, it's been quite a while since we've had kingfish to that degree in the water. Nothing big seen, um, which I've probably already touched on. Nothing, well, nothing, you know, really big. Probably over 25. Saw a couple over that 20 kilo mark, which are, which are of course, nice fish. But um, nothing absolutely massive out there. Excellent, excellent day. Summer is certainly on the way. Um, just, just, just a good day. Good food, good everything this week. We're going to be eating really well. So. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm going to try to do a video this week on basically just a full gear update, my own personal gear update from uh, skimboarding, surfing, and of course spearfishing. Um, just as we come into summer, this is a very busy time of year. I myself have actually I've, I've recently resigned from my part-time job, and um, I'm going full-time into the business. Well, I mean, hopefully forever, but certainly for the summer. So, um, yeah. I mean, that's, that's sort of the news. There's a lot happening around here at the moment. I'm Sam Price. I'll see you at the beach.